Hey Ninja Galleons, I'm Sarah. Welcome back to Ninjago TV. So today I have a video that's going to be special to me, and that's because I'm going to be talking about why Ninjago means so much to me and why I still watch Ninjago, me being 21 and a young adult. But before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to get notified every time I upload new Ninjago content. So, without further ado, let's get on to the video. Okay, so, like I stated in the intro, I am going to be talking to you guys about why I still watch Ninjago to this day, being a 21-year-old and a young adult, and, um, that's the reason why. And I actually also talk about this on my main youtube channel which is s.esaw and i'll put the link to that video as well as that channel in the description below okay so i talk a little bit about this in that video but this is like more into detail and just focusing on that um but where do you begin? Um, so I was around 9 or 10 years old when I started watching Ninjago. And um, one day I come home from school and I see my brother watching the show. And it was the pilot episodes. Um, the first three, two or three pilot episodes. And... Um, I kind of started getting into the episodes and season one comes and season two and so on and so forth and I just can't stop watching the show because the show is amazing it has a powerful message behind it and so yeah so that's how I actually became a fan of Ninjago because I saw my brother watching it and I thought it looked really interesting and a new tv show for me to watch and be a fan of so I sat and I watched it with him. He's my, anyways, uh, this is my older brother. Um, so, my older brother and I, we, every time it would come on, we would sit together and watch it. And I think he watched the show from the pilot all the way to season three because his favorite character died in that. Uh, season and his favorite character is Zane and um that's when he stopped watching the show but I kept on continuing continued but I continued sorry to watch the show and um yeah and the reason behind that is mainly because when I was in just the morning I might get emotional but, um, hopefully I don't. <laughs> um, when I was in elementary school, I would constantly get bullied, like, day in and day out every time I would go to school. And it would hard, be so hard for me to make friends and keep friends and all that. Um... And so back then I had a lot of trust issues and I didn't, I didn't know who to trust because every time I tried to be nice to someone they would stab me in the back or spread by like either bullying me or um, saying a rumor and whatnot and um, that would really hurt me and um, there was a few times where I've gone, gotten bullied so bad to the point where, like, your discretion is advised for this video, um, where I've hit my, somebody pushed me into the monkey bars and I hit my head. If you guys don't remember those monkey bars, they're like little whales that you 
have to go across, you know, the other side. But that's besides the point. Um, so uh, I've hit hitting my I've hit my head on the monkey bars before, mainly because, like I said, someone pushed me, and that's how I hit my head. And then when I came home, I had a really bad concussion, and um, I threw up and all that, and it was just bad for me that day. And I had to go to the, to the hospital, have a CAT scan, and luckily nothing was wrong. Everything was fine. Um, but there was this one time where I wouldn't really call her a friend, but, or I wouldn't, she's not, wasn't my friend, um, or so now I think she wasn't my friend, but at the time I thought she was, um, so her and I, we were fighting over a guy, because we both liked the same guy, and the good thing I had one of my other friends, him included, I'm not going to name names, but, um, in a way, both of my friends, um, they saved me because, uh, she said, she even threatened me, she said, if you even go near him, I'm going to kill you and all that, and she actually legitimately wanted to fight me, and she was actually... I think she was taller than me, but we were the around the same age. Um, no, we were the same age. And also, I was really shy as well when I was younger. And also because all those kids were that were bullying me, I lost confidence in myself. And I would put myself down, meaning I would be like, oh, maybe those kids at school all right maybe i am dumb maybe i am this maybe i am that and um it's just a hard thing to go through and um i remember telling my mom that I don't want to go to school anymore because it was, like, that bad. My brother and I, we were both physically and mentally bullied. And, um, my brother, he actually switched schools more than I did, but I switched schools, um, once. And that school, I'm glad my mom switched my school because I... After I switched schools, I actually found a good friend that I am still friends with her till this day. And we've been so good friends um, ever since. And we're always there for each other no matter what, helping each other out and supporting each other. And it's just amazing. And... It was also hard mainly because I also had two best friends, two of my best friends that moved away and um, and I don't even see them anymore and I don't even know like how they're doing and all that and I mean I follow one of them on social media but we don't talk as much as we used to and it was just really, really hard for me to deal with at the time. And one of it was before my junior high uh, promotion. And the other one was, I think, before my, um, what is it, my... Gosh, my elementary prom elementary school promotion, and I actually do miss both of them. And even though um, time to time we would argue, we would do all those other stuff. We were still friends. We never actually lost hope on friendship. And yes, we were jealous of each other when good things happened, but. 
there was always I knew there was always a connection between us mm. yeah I know I'm getting off topic but that kind of connects with the reason why I love Ninjago so much and um why I love these two characters in particular I love Zane who is played by Brent Miller and I also love Jay who is played by Michael Adams Hoyt and um because at first I was exactly how Zane was in season one where he was shy and quiet and always to himself and kind of find it found it he found it hard to connect with the other ninjas but then eventually he kind of what is it kind of uh, understood them and he understood himself and who he is and that's exactly what I did I was quiet and shy and kept to myself most of the time that's the main reason why it was hard for me to make friends and um and yeah it's just I'm sorry guys if I'm getting emotional but this story is a little bit hard for me to explain and it's a really personal story to me that I've never told anyone and the friends that I did have in elementary and in elementary I did lose contact with them and I just wish there was a way where I can connect back with every single one of them because um, each of them just made my life so much better including the two amazing friends that I have now and um and then of course now me being 21 i um i connect even more with zane and i connect with jay as well because jay is so positive and um and confident and same thing with zane now he's gotten more comfortable with the other ninjas and even though sometimes he can still be a little quiet but I've realized that sometimes it's good to be quiet and but and also the people that bullied me didn't really understand how I felt and what I was going through and how upset I was after coming home every day from school and all that um that's why it has been because I said in I don't know if I said this on my main uh YouTube but um for those of you that don't know me, I've gone through multiple multiple surgeries as a kid, and um, even in my preteen and teen years, I have as well. And it's just been really hard for me to deal with, and I. That's why I just can't stop loving the show I thought I would be like my brother where I stopped loving the show after season three but I kept on going and watching the show and that show has just been a blessing for me to watch and I'm just so so happy that I get to watch that show and that show makes me laugh and as well as me watching the voice actors um because I've um, watched all of the voice actors. I've watched Vincent Tong. I've seen him in other shows, but I've never connected and loved his show, 
his performance that he does in Ninjago than what he did in like Iron Man Armored Adventures and I love what Brent Miller did to do the character of Zane and how he brought Zane to life and same thing with Michael Adams play and Brent Miller and Michael Adams Adams wait they both um make me laugh and just make me feel more confident for who I am and um and then of course there's Kirby Morrow who voiced Cole and um oh my god I'm getting more emotional I'm getting even more emotional when I said uh, Kirby. But, um. And then, of course, there's Julian Michaels, who played Lloyd from seasons one through seven. And now it's Sam Vincent. And, um. I'm sorry, guys. It's just crazy to think how much the show has put an impact on me and how much I've grown to loving this show. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry guys, I didn't think I would actually get emotional, especially when talking about the cast and how amazing the cast is and the only other shows that I've seen any of the cast in well Michael Adam play I saw him in big time movie um, and then Kirby I saw him in one of the Transformers cartoons I think it was Transformers Armada or one of those um, and then same thing with Brent Miller um, that's why last year when I took his channel down, I was, I felt like I was growing out of the show, but for some reason my heart didn't want me to let go of the show because the show is just, I'm sorry, it's just been a huge, huge, huge impact in my life, and because of the show, I've became more confident and um, positive and no matter what situation I'm in, because that's what Jay would do if he was in the situ in a certain situation. He would always try to laugh it off with a joke and yeah, but I just really really deeply want to say thank you to everyone who is involved with Ninjago and in creating it and or making the music and I just don't know where I'd be without Ninjago and without the friends that I have today and the support I get from everyone, including you guys. And <laughs> this unconditional love is insane. And I have so many other fun things coming to this channel, to my main YouTube channel. And man... I'm so sorry, guys. I got emotional, but like I said in the beginning, I might get emotional because this is a very personal topic for me to talk about. And, um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's 
pretty much it and I'm sorry if I made some of you guys cry because you guys saw me crying and I know some of you guys hate hate seeing other people cry and and I get it I'm that way too and I also forgot to mention now that I'm older and I feel like I connect more with each of these characters but mostly I connect to Jay and Zane. They're my top they are the top characters that I connect with the most. And um I feel like I'll always be connected to them. And um Yeah. I can't wait to see what I have in store for you guys on this channel on my main on my main channel I have oh my gosh I have so many fun stuff planned um well one of the things that I've planned is a family vacation vlog I love doing these family vacation vlogs and then but I think before that I have a big timorish concert vlog which I'm so excited to film. And I know besides my Ariana Grande Sweetener Tour vlog that I did, this one's going to be my most favorite. But anyways, again, that's off topic. But on this channel, there's also so many things coming soon. Um, I don't know if I'm going to post um, lyric videos on here, but I am going to do... Um, reaction videos, um, little sit-down videos like this, um, update videos, and maybe, and maybe even Ninjago covers, because, oh my gosh, I almost lost my voice because of this video, but, um, yeah, I love you guys so much, and to the cast and crew of Ninjago, thank you so much for everything and um, everything that you've done for Ninjago. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video, even though it was emotional for me. Um, I hope you guys still enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, I love you guys so much, and I hope you all have an amazing day. Ninja, go! Bye, guys.